Hi, this is Robert Wood, owner of Aura LED, LED with the 13 BioCube full retrofit demonstration. For this demo, we're going to put in a 5 pack of Aura LED Red, a 10 pack of Aura LED Blue, 450 nanometers, and a 5 pack of 1.1 whites. We're going to completely remove the compact fluorescent bulbs and put in the Aura LED LEDs. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and remove these. I'll show you all. You know, that's what the tank looked like with your standard compact fluorescence running. That's a 10K 24 watt compact fluorescent. And that is a Coral Life Atenic 24 watt. So what I'm going to do is cut them off real quick so I don't get burnt any worse than I'm going to. test with an original five pack of blue so you will see some adhesive on the metal in there since the success of the full retro the other tank and for a need for this video and some product demonstration we're just going to go ahead and retro this one we're also retro on the 125 and several other tanks so so we can see how long the actual retro takes. It's 12, 13. Got about a minute or two opening the lid and taking the screws out so we can say we started at 12, 10. I'm going to go ahead and open my first box. Or lead, this is going to be your five pack red. Made in America, Norfolk, Virginia. Every box comes with your instruction sheet, which shows you exactly what we're about to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my five pack of red. back of the VHB tape. You're going to give yourself a good visual before you start laying anything. And what you want is a good spread on the wires. Pull in tension against them perfect. You can go in any contour you want. If the pitch of angle is in, that's just fine. You have a 120 degree spread on the LED. So it's going to cast light pretty much whatever angle you put the LED at unless it's upside down. So what I like to do is go on this center row here and I'm going to come as far inside as I can here now it's a one shot does it if you do peel the LED off you will need to replace the piece of VHB tape 70 percent of the time because it is a super adhesive and once you remove that top layer it's not really going to want to stick to anything again so we're going to go to here what I'm going to do is I'm going to chase the gap here and I'm going to install these on both pitch angles. 
which I'm a little short, so you'll come in to, let's say, right here in the center above my lunars. Okay. Now again, we have so much angle and so much wattage, these lights are going to flood the tank pretty much wherever you put them. And it's one of the beauties of the Aura LEDs is it's your own design. You make it how you want, how much light you want in certain places. If you want to stack the red over a section of LPS to get the color and everything like that, then that's your choice. You know, it's, it's there for you to do. You don't have to rely on something you get on the shelf. It's completely retroable. I'm going to leave that lead hanging, of course, near the opening to the back of the bio cube because that's where you're going to plug in your power connection. That is waterproof. I did accidentally dump it in the tank during install, so. Okay, now like I said before, you're gonna want to hook up your power supply as you go to obviously test your unit, make sure there was, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. And to get your cords laid out. It's also important that because each power supply is identical to its unit. So we're going to plug her in. And give it a good test. Okay, we got a beautiful red 670 nanometers. Perfect light spectrum for producing extra chlorophyll in the water for aquatic photosynthesis. It just really now the color is intense so we're coming up with a dimmer for it to kind of tone it down it will be in line and it is a personal preference some people love the color some people don't now once you get the white and the blue in it does turn into its own you know color combo so we're going to go ahead and unplug that so we don't get blinded while we're working and i'm going to go with my white next because i like the center the white relatively right square in the center of the tank. So yet again, go ahead and open up here. No more LEDs. Remove your LEDs. Two foot five shirt. And again, I'm going to Give myself a good visual before I do anything. And like I said, with the ones and these bio cubes, I like to stay centered. So I'm going to go right about there. Yet again, you want to make half of your tank red, half of it blue, half of it white. It's your decision. I like a nice even spectrum to go throughout the pitch angle and everything on these LEDs. You'll see you just cast light absolutely everywhere. So it's never an angle. Now you obviously want to go under any wires that you have previously set. You don't want to group the wires like that. I'm going to come in, give yourself a good visual. Go ahead and stick your first one. Give it a good thumb press. You want to give it a good bit of pressure. As with any kind of adhesive. Okay. I'll do the second one. Hold the back of your lid so you don't snap it off. Give it a good thumb press. Now, if you need to, you can always pull your wire over. You're going to put this third one in and give it a good thumb press. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reset this module at an angle to give myself a little more wire when I make this jump to here. Because I'd like this LED as far to the center as possible to get the light everywhere. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and peel our last two stickers. Sometimes it's easier to do the cleanup when you're done because you're going to have some stickers. Okay, so we're going to take these at a diamond shape because your pitch angle is just so much better with that shape in this area. Okay, now once you do go to the Aura LEDs, these fans are 86 because they're connected to the ballast kits in the bio cube. You can't run a DC jump off of your power to run those fans again. There is no need for them. You do keep your lid open, except at night for me. 
um, but as you can see I'm not running any heaters any chillers any of that stuff the ambient temperature of the LEDs with the house about you know at 72 degrees stays right at the 78 perfect now as you can see I came out right here through this wire feed and the bio cube again now we're gonna go to our last box the blue There's a 10 pack for this tank because I'm, that's a heavy tannic tank. And to show a 10 pack install. So, as you can see, this is going to be a four footer. It's a lot longer. This is your standard for a 75 gallon tank. You know, you'd usually have seven rows of these on a 65 gallon. We make a six foot strip for 125 gallon tanks, which would run seven rows. So we're going to go ahead and come back to the tank. Actually, I forgot an intricate step. I did not test that last run and hook up its power supply. So, don't forget to do that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and take out our power supply. Take our open connection. fit pop her open and as you can see with the five pack we already have the beautiful shimmer effect on the ground even without the lid closed fish are active thinking it's daylight already so we're going to go ahead and unplug that while we install our blue Take your blue, now what I do with the blue is I actually cover my fan ports with them. That's why I pick a longer strip. They're a little more conducive with that, so it's an extra way to get, you know, more LEDs in here if that's what you see fit. So stick her right to there. Peel your next sticker. What we're going to do with these is we are going to actually the four footer is a little bit long. You always want to go under your wires because if you don't, you'll be trapped. Then obviously have a wire on top of stuff you don't want. So you know there is a little thread the needle. Stick this blue here. Sticker. Chase the bottom of the LED. Follow the same diamond pattern or square, whatever you like. Yet again, your choice. Peel your next one. And what we're gonna go here is you have two options. I actually stick them on the socket. This is a great placement because nothing else is going to go here. This is going to be dead space. It's going to be new growth. It's going to be just, you know, great flood in that area.